Coming up next, I'll be joined by the president and CEO of Light Bridge. The company's stock is up more than 300% in the last year. We'll break down what's surging and what's next for this company. Coming up. Welcome back to The Watchlist. I'm Nicole Petalides, live in New York City. We're watching Lightbridge. Lightbridge stock hit its highest price in over three years last week after its earnings report. And here to discuss that report, and we welcome him back to the show, Seth Gray, president and CEO of Lightbridge. The ticker symbol is LTBR. Thank you so much. A, a nuclear fuel technology company. Um, tell us how's business before we get to some of the details of earnings. How are you feeling about business overall? Well, business is very good overall. We're seeing huge upswings in the nuclear power industry, whether you're talking about ESG or COP26 or the infrastructure bill. And Lightbridge specifically within that is rising at the same time, expanding our partnership with the U.S. government to demonstrate our technology that will enhance the safety and economics of the existing reactors and new ones quite significantly. And, you know, we're looking for some more progress with the U.S. government between now and the end of the year as well. And within the industry, uh, things just couldn't be better on the interest in nuclear. And I guess, Nicole, part of the reason why Lightbridge is surging so much is there just aren't that many companies you can invest in that are pure play nuclear stocks to benefit from an increase in how's nuclear doing. What kind of conversations do you have with the Department of Energy? I know you have patents. You're working closely with the U.S. government. Um, this is key technology that your company is providing, one of the reasons why the stock has jumped. Today it is selling off in a big way, but again, as we said, you've had an incredible run-up, that being said. But when you work closely with the Department of Energy in trying to have advanced nuclear fuel technology development, which moves us forward, what kind of conversations are you having in the big picture? Well, we're talking about how Lightbridge works within the U.S. government's strategic goals. The U.S. government is interested in expanding U.S. exports, making sure nuclear is non-proliferative. You know, basically, there is a great power competition. The U.S., Russia, China, all supporting their companies. We're very much on the U.S. team and talking about how our technology helps the government meet its goals both domestically for having reliable energy without any CO2 emissions, as well as internationally for jobs, for exports, and to make sure that U.S. standards are brought overseas, which just isn't the case when some other countries are exporting the reactors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I know you have so many patents, even I saw one that was uh, more recent than the others. And over one month, this stock is up 44%. So you're working and patenting um, your technology, your proprietary information, and at the same time in the Russell Microcap Index, too. Um, these types of things really give you your footprint, right? So nobody can take your ideas. And when you're in an index that's recognized worldwide, I mean, that must give you um, some a good feeling as well, right? It, it does. Lightbridge is getting bigger as a company. We're getting much more recognized around the world. And uh, being in the Russell uh, Index is, is very good for helping to introduce the company to you know, many new investors. And we're certainly seeing the profile of investors, you know, increase almost every day. It seems the types of investors that are that are contacting us, that are hearing about us, sometimes through government, sometimes through other large companies, are just seeing how the stock is doing. I know you have your own plans for growth, but now you also have this infrastructure bill. And as we comb through it, there's so many incredible details. But we're working towards cleaner energy. What is it within the infrastructure bill with your company? There must be some exciting correlation happening here, right? Yeah, there's a lot of specific support for nuclear within the infrastructure bill, and within that, a lot that can directly apply to Lightbridge that we're seeking. And this includes support for the existing reactors to help make sure that they stay open, which Lightbridge can 
very much help with by improving the economics, lowering the cost of electricity generated by the existing reactors using Light Bridges technology, but also in particular support for these new coming small modular reactors. One of the biggest problems with nuclear is just how expensive it is to build a reactor. But a much smaller reactor with light bridge fuel uh, increasing the amount of energy that's produced by that reactor is something that we think aligns very well with the U.S. government's goals under the bill. Mm -hmm. When we think of nuclear technology right, and the green energy movement, that's all good news. You mentioned some foreign countries. Um, I know we work closely with these other countries. Is there anything um, here at home or abroad that we should keep in mind as well, even maybe something that could be a hurdle or worrisome? Because we've talked all about good things. Is there anything that um, you're working on that maybe some changes could occur? Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's both. You have these real bright spots in the world, like the United Arab Emirates that have been deploying reactors, you know, very much on schedule and cost and um, doing so very safely and responsibly. And from the U.S. point of view, we just want to make sure in competition with China, in competition with Russia on these multi-billion dollar projects that it is American companies landing the jobs. And we're seeing tremendous increased support from the government on this, be it from the Export-Import Bank, be it from the Development Finance Corporation, be it from DOE grants to companies like Lightbridge, and very mindful that we do want these very high U.S. standards in the reactors around the world. Right, to do this safely. Yeah, Seth Gray, nice to see you. Welcome back to the show. Glad you're here. Great year, a good a earnings report as well, and uh, you'll come back and give us some updates in the new year, I'm sure. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Seth Gray of Lightbridge, Lightbridge CEO and President. Thanks for joining us on the show. Thank you. Still ahead in the second half 